And hello folks, this is Serge Le Guef, Mr. Smith, uh, here to help you out improvise over the blues. I do a lot of transcriptions, as you would know. One of the latest one is James Moody, Blue Walk, and I've decided I'm going to absolutely dissect the solo and take it bits by bits and see how much can we learn from a single chorus or two or more, uh, but initially from, um, from the first chorus of, of his solo. And uh, I will start with bar number one. In bar number one, there's this little pattern, B, D, E, D, G. Ba, ba, de, do, drum. That's how he starts his solo, ba, de, ba, de, do, drum. And I thought, wow, what a, great, what a great way to start the solo. It starts on the third, then goes to the fifth of the chord, to the sixth, back to the fifth, and targets the tonic of the chord. So it's really an inside phrase. And I thought, well, there's no need to go any further than that. This phrase here. Is enough. The first, the first two and a half beat, beats of the solo. The first two and a half beats of the solo are enough to get me going uh, for a small practice of the blues. How am I going to apply this to the entire form of the blues? Well, simply by playing this pattern this idea of starting on the third of every new chord that comes to me on at the beginning of every bar ba ba do 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 we ba do 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 i've just moved up to the c7 there so g7 to c7 um starting on the third of the new chord and you do this at at, at the gentle pace first and then accelerate the, the the tempo try to do it without having to write the notes on paper. You can, that will be a help, but it won't, it won't uh, get into your mind as much as if you try to use your memory and your sense of analysis. You look at the core, perhaps before you start, perhaps before you start, you want to um, look at each chord and wonder, okay, what is the third? Because that's where you start. You start with the third, you target the third of each chord. I'll show you how that will work. This is the phrase. <laughs> Simple, right? We're going to play this over the entire blues. Now, beware, on this particular blues, James Moody has substituted bar 7. It should be a G7, but he substituted this bar, uh, this G7, with a B minor 7, E7, followed by a B flat minor 7, E flat 7. I will show you the, the, the music uh, as part of this video, so you can, I'll show it now, actually. Okay, let me demonstrate how we are going to use this. Here is the blues, and I'm going to play this pattern on the beginning of every single phrase. To learn to to learn to implement what you learn through practicing a transcribed solo that was only two and a half beat and it's a little gem of a phrase um, now how does it really translate in real life as part of a, of a proper improvised solo well let's see let's give it a shot and let's see if I can successfully incorporate this phrase as part of a completely improvised solo here we go Let's start with it, yeah? <laughs>
it's a cool phrase and it's only a tiny tiny portion of the solo i i can show you i'm i'm looking at the solo as, as i speak there are so many gems uh, gems in this solo it's worthy of study for quite a few weeks uh, so i'll do another uh, another video on um on the next two beats which is another pearl until then i hope you have a great practice uh, and that you've enjoyed this video if you did please um, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, it all helps. We are um, performing musicians here, uh, no DJs uh, to be seen anywhere. We're playing real instruments and I hope you do too. Uh, have fun, practice, enjoy your practice uh, and uh, leave a comment below. Until next time, cheers.